As many of you know who have been to the Abbey recently, over the summer we installed a big, beautiful new organ in the West Organ Gallery. It's the Abbey's great organ that complements the smaller choir organ up in the front of the church. Well, earlier this year, Father Jerome and I sat down for a conversation about organs and about their place in the Abbey's liturgical life. We had that conversation even before the new organ was installed. We wanted to share that conversation with you, and we wanted to share that with you now, because in just a few weeks, we will celebrate the arrival and tuning and voicing of our new organ with our inaugural organ concert, played by the great American organist, Paul Jacobs, who is the chair of the organ department at the Juilliard School. So we hope that in listening to this conversation, you too can grow in your appreciation for the place of liturgical music and these beautiful instruments that are so central to our Catholic life and liturgical worship. Enjoy. The church has always been the birthplace of culture, the foundation, the cultivator of, at least in the West, of everything that's great and beautiful and good. Certainly. It, it comes in the context of Holy Mother Church and her sacred liturgy and how that then spills out over into the whole rest of the culture. It's the foundation of culture so that whether the composers we've been speaking about or the instruments we've been speaking about find a kind of like a jewel in a, a set in a crown mm -hmm. and that the crown is the whole of the cultural apparatus which then grows out of it and supports it, this, this liturgical music specifically. So in a way, we have a great privilege here at our Abbey to be able to replicate that here and now for the not only the faithful who are going to come and pray with us here, but also for the culture of this place and of this day and age that even for those who are not faithful or for people who might just be interested in great music. Sure, or and, and great they're going culture. to get it. They're going to get great yes. music. Um, <laughs> It's, it's really a, a gift, I think, culturally, that we'll be able to humbly offer to really the whole region. Yes. Because you're going to have a unique setup here of an abbey church, which actually has a grand orgue and a orgue de coeur. Both and, in the same French style. French in the same French style. And I mean, I think this is unique. I, I'm not saying there are not other French style instruments in California. I, there are, but... I think the, the combination of having the smaller and the larger instrument, and then really in a church which has phenomenally wonderful reverberance mm -hmm. acoustics, mm -hmm. we have a, what is it, a six, seven second reverberation like here. That. And it's going to be magnificent. And what we, we have is we offer to the local community, to the, the world, beauty. Organ music was composed to accompany the sacred liturgy even during the action of the Mass. So it can really focus people in an unconscious way mm -hmm. back on what's going on in the liturgy. that then spills out over into the whole rest of the culture. It's the foundation of culture. Mm -hmm. 